Welcome to Camp Mai Mai. This is Myra, and today I want to show you the new to me square drop travel trailer that I just purchased. A woman in one of my camping groups unfortunately passed away recently, and she had so many great things to say about this camper and the company that made it. It's a 2018 Escapade. It is five by eight on the body is five by eight and then the entire trailer length is only 12 feet it only weighs 800 pounds it's very simple there is no water system there's no kitchen there's no battery it's a four pin connector so i actually had to get a um, adapter seven pin to four pin adapter just to run the lights on the trailer it has no ac no heat no, no, it's bare bones but it's really, for me, perfect. I've had campers before. My last teardrop camper, I never used the AC. It had a microwave. I never used the microwave. I never used the water system. So I'm very excited to make some fixes to this camper because it does need a couple of things and make it my own. You know, I love to decorate campers. It's one of my favorite hobbies is decorating campers. So I have a lot of plans for this and I just can't wait to share them with you. And this is where the plug is. It just has a regular 110 plug that goes on the side here. There's a little um, basket on the front, two inch ball, door and a window, spare tire on the back and even a little hitch on the back if you wanted to do a bike rack or something. And then um, two stabilizers on the back. So again, very bare bones, no battery, nothing. <laughs> well, there it is. All right, I'm gonna show you around and it's very small. Like I said, it's only five by eight. So I have my wide angle lens on, but as you can see, it's got two doors and two windows. These lights are, it's got two lights on top of there, battery operated. There's vents on the side for just for airflow, basically. It came with two beds or two mattresses. They're trifold mattresses, but I plan on maybe using one and then having storage on the other side. And there's a cabinet that slides open. I might take the doors off because the doors are kind of hard to open, but there are, there's a shelf inside, so there's plenty of storage here. It's about a foot deep. And then, of course, this shelf on top. There is a water leak, or was, and it's because the person I bought it from has passed away, I have no way of knowing if she ever addressed this leak. So I'm going to be resealing the entire outside of the camper. I have been researching that like crazy, and I found out what the original manufacturer of the camper suggests for sealing. And it is a 2018, so my assumption is that it's never been resealed or anything. So I'm going to have to work on that. I open the cabinet here, and you can see there's shelf, one shelf on the inside. I'll put my, probably my Goal Zero will go in here. Um, it's got only a plug, and this is just a regular 110 plug. So this goes, plugs into an extension cord outside, and then there's two plugs there. I've got my little heater. <laughs> this heater is plenty big to heat this little camper, trust me. And then it's got two USB cables there as well. So what I plan to do is use the my Goal Zero, either the 400 or the 500 for power in here. I have the new flexible 100 watt solar panel from Goal Zero that just came out and I just, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I, I just got that delivered yesterday. So I'm excited to try that. And if that works, I can just probably, you know, attach it to the roof and have a solar panel on the roof. I will put a link in the description for that because I, I was, I had a 100 watt, um, it's called the Boulder and it's super heavy and I never used it because I didn't want to lug it around all the time. I have smaller Goal Zero solar panels that I do use all the time, but I was, I'm excited to have the 100 watt that I can attach to the roof. The other thing I wanted to show here is that there is quite a gap between the bottom of the door and the floor. 
and I know, look, if, if the bed, if the mattress is spread out, then that um, takes care of that gap. But what I plan to do is install the gym floor puzzle mat flooring for insulation and cushioning, number one. And then I'll, I'll put a rug right over the top of that. And then my mattresses will be on top of that. This should insulate the floor quite a bit. I got this at Target and they're pretty thick. I think it's like three quarters of an inch. And it's so much better already getting in here and kneeling on the floor with that padding. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos about this camper.